Hello guys, it is me, Vision, and welcome back to the How to Make a Story Game series on Roblox. So last time, we left off of where we made our characters and created our map. So now we're going to get into the dialogue. But before that, I'd appreciate it if you guys played my game out of stock. Also, credit to all of these people who were able to help me with this magnificent game. You can also purchase VIP to get some sweet perks. The game is completely free to play and it can fit up to 10 people per game. The story takes place in a supermarket called Stockmart. Once you go inside of the employees only room, you should find your manager, Benjamin. He'll be the one that will be leading you across the whole game. And all the other parts, I'll let you find it yourself. But anyways, please check out my game, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, on to the tutorial. Okay, now we are back. So, basically, um, let's just get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to insert a screen GUI inside of starter GUI. Then, insert a frame. Alright, now, now let's just start positioning the frame. Alright, so we're going to put this to 0.5. Zero, and um, I have notes here, so I'm just checking them. And zero point eighty-five zero. All right, there. That's just positioning, though. We still have some other things to do. The next um, thing is the size, so we're gonna put. Um, let's try uh, zero point eight. Zero. And um, 0 0.20. Also, credit to um, Poncho Kings for helping me with this tutorial. There we go. That seems good. Um, you guys can make it smaller if you want. Yeah, that's perfect. I like that. All right. Now you want to insert a text label inside of the frame. And we're gonna make the anchor point 0.5.5 as well. And let's see here. Um, we'll do. Let's try uh, the position to 0 0.6 and 0 0.5. There we go. And the size will be uh, 0.7 and 0.8. Let's try that. So 0.7. Eight. Perfect. Okay. So now we have to set the transparency to one. And you guys can customize this however you want. I'm just going to make it bold. You can get rid of the text. Make sure that it's scaled. And I'm going to make the text color to white. And I'm going to just change the frame color to black and the transparency to 0 0.2. All right, now we can insert our image label. All right, there we go. So now we have our image label. We're also going to set the anchor point for that to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And let's see here, we should do, for the position we should do 0 0.15, 0 and 0 0.2, right, 0.2. Um, no, 0.5 seems better. Let's try that. Perfect. Alright, and... Let's take a look here. The size will be... 0 0.250 0 and... 1. Uh, no, 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 no. 1, 0. Okay. There we go. And I forgot something. As you can see, the, it still looks... Eh. It actually looks okay, but I forgot to set this to relative YY. And I guess we can change this back a bit. There we go. Yeah, I forgot about that. Make sure you make the frame to a relative YY. And then you can change the size to 0 0.8 and then it should be fixed again. So now, it will 
work for any screen, pretty much any screen, it will work in. It's just perfect. All right. Also, um, make sure the background transparency for an image is at one. Delete the placeholder, and there you go. Okay, so I'll, I need to open up. So now you want to go to my images and find your uh, character that you took a picture of. I forgot to say, if you want to do that, just simply use like a snipping tool, cut out your character, go to a Photoshop app, and just get rid of the background and upload it to Roblox, and then you'll get it. So you want to go to my images with the waffle, waffle icon, and then do copy asset ID. And then, um, let's see here. Okay, sorry. So now we can put that onto our image label. So we're just gonna do that. And there we go. You can change this to crop to make it look better. So nice, now we have, I keep opening this. Now we have, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to starter player, then you want to go into starter character scripts, and you want to insert a local script. And you're, you're going to rename it create dialog script. Perfect. Now um, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, this link was by Poncho King, so you can just copy that and you're gonna paste it inside of here whoops i didn't really copy it didn't i there we go so now this will just take care of the animation and typing sounds and everything else so there we go now we have that now you want to go into server script service and enter a script we're gonna call this script game script. This is literally gonna be the main script for pretty much our whole series. So it's gonna be a big DLC. You wanna make sure this is working. So go to the link in the description. I might just make you guys a paste bin or something. And you're gonna copy that and paste that into here. And now you wanna go into replicated storage and you want to insert a remote event and you want to rename the remote event create dialog event so um, that's where it will take care of this so here um, local Ross image this will load up Ross's image and then this will make him say something and then you can get a random player and then it will you can make the player say whatever you want so I'm just gonna um, copy this and put this in the challenge intro There we go And also let's make the frame not visible And we can test it. Okay guys, so it doesn't let me test in uh, Roblox studio, so I'm just gonna I just made a game and I'm just gonna test it in the game instead so yeah, let's let's just get into that. I'm just gonna open up the game and let's let me turn on a game capture real quick just so we can see this. Okay. So I'm just gonna full screen that. Alright. Hello everyone, welcome to the circus. And we'll wait a few seconds. Wow, this place is incredible. Alright, so guys, as you can see, it's working. And I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Also, credit to Poncho Kings for helping me with this. I'm going to save this every episode until my own ideas will start rolling in, which I do have. And you guys will see them. So, see you guys later.